All equipments managed by this system needed to need to be added to the table, the equipment table, before you can do anything with this. No different to adding equipment to catalog. Once you add a piece of equipment to a catalog, you can then do a multitude of actions with it. Send it to maintenance, take it out on exercise, all those sort of things. We're going to do that now. Basically, we bring up our equipment menu and we go to add to catalog. This will bring up an add new equipment book uh, box. Um, we'll start by giving it a part number. Now, every piece of equipment must have an, a, a part number and it should be unique. If you give it a part number that is already on file, then you can't duplicate that number. What you should be doing is doing a receipt to that part number uh, and receiving items against it, which would increase its quantities. So we'll just give this a part number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we'll give it an item name of demo because that's what we're doing. Okay, now if it has a barcode, barcodes are very useful for at a later time and particularly applicable to the exercise equipment system. So we will give this, usually the barcode is the same as the part number. If there's serial numbered items, you'll find that the serial number is added to that as well. Okay, we now have a number of options before we finally save this. Uh, is it a serviced item? It may be a vehicle or a generator which requires regularly quarterly servicing. Right now, here is when you can identify that and we manage servicing in a different component through the maintenance system and it picks it up and adds it so that you can uh, manage the records. Is it calibration? Is the item unique? Is it a technical piece of equipment that requires regular calibration? Uh, is it a PC RIS item? PC RIS is the exercise uh, software to which we follow a lot of our player equipment across the uh, exercise area. Uh, this is an opportunity to identify it here. It, w it is applicable again to the exercise management system. Is it a serial numbered item? This may be just the main item which is and it's serial numbered and you might have hundreds of them so you basically capture the header and then you would add the serial numbers when you're doing receding. Is it a registered item? Okay, at this point in time, is it going to be registered uh, like a vehicle? You can capture the registration number down the bottom. Um, are you going to add this to the mission essential list? Again, mission essential items are those that we want to keep critical track of to ensure we have enough components when we deploy into the field. Here is your try an opportunity to identify it. Uh, noting all of these items, you can actually add these items at a later date to the equipment through the detail screen. Okay, we now give it an owner. In this case, we're going to, it's, is, is it going to be BAE systems, government furnished material or, or equipment? We'll make a GFM. And we're going to add it to our catalog. Okay, once it's added to our catalog, it brings up the equipment detail screen and you can see, you can now see the equipment is there. Uh, if you knew the price, you could add it. You notice it's a non-serviced item, it wasn't PC risk, it's not serial numbered and it doesn't have the MEI. If I click that now, it would be added to the mission essential items list and you would be able to pull that on your report. But we'll leave that blank, uh, we'll check that out later. Okay, you'll notice that we have no stock because we physically haven't done a receipt. We'll do a receipt later on. If we have a picture of the item, here's an opportunity to add it now. We could click on there and it would bring up uh, directories. We find the directory where we have pictures and we, you know, JPEG's a standard format. We find a like item and we'll add the picture and you've now got a picture identifying this part in more detail. When you start receding, if it was serial numbered, all the serial numbered items would start appearing down here as per the overview you got um, on the on the equipment detail system and literally that's all there is in relation to cataloging an item